I'm gonna show you my recent work. In the left side of the doodle, I have the head. This is a symbol of me. I added to initiate the process of the doodle. Usually they appear as a main element and often they appear as small elements. Here, for example, it's a combination of my husband and I. And here the head has different elements that appear in the rest of the doodle. This is a little representation of my house. <laughs> I wrote in the warehouse of my memory, I hear the echo of the beast hidden behind my memories. This doodle is a symbol of the negative memories, experiences that have been very upsetting or traumatic for me. And I draw this beast in my doodles as a way to free these memories but also as a way to free myself from the power and influence they could have in my decision-making in my everyday life. The fish bird appears in many of my paintings and is a symbol of never-ending change. It's one of my favorite magical creatures. At the bottom of the doodle, you see plants are a symbol for creativity in my paintings and my doodles. I like to use them as a symbol of human creativity. Humans have an enormous capacity to create uh, good and bad ideas. While I do my doodles and my paintings, I don't like to think too much. I just allow myself to express freely random ideas. And I usually find a lot of meaning after I do them. Then I can read them and see and I see myself reflected in it and I see aspects of me that I want to improve. And in my doodles, I write things that I want to achieve or I want to teach myself. One of them is look at the world as it is and not as you want it to be. Do not nurture stupidity. And in this context, stupidity refers to things that hinder human development, things like racism or xenophobia or homophobia, things that don't let us progress as a society. And in the center of the doodle is the heart. It's a common symbol in my paintings and I usually represent it open. On the road, I wrote there, are a thousand roads to love. This is part of a song. The title of the song is Caminos or Roads that I am going to present for you later. What this means is that there are many different ways in which you can love and have also a fulfilling human experience. This is actually a secret door. Behind it is some internal parts of the house. This is an old house around 140 years. This Part of the doodle, it's still incomplete. I don't know what I'm gonna do in it. There are still many spaces empty that I plan to fill in the near future. I like to think that I could come here at any time, just add something and write something, and eventually I will not find any other space to fill. And when that happens, then I will have to find another wall in my house to fill. If you want to see how all this process started, you can check the other two videos. If you find this interesting, if you would like to do it yourself, I strongly encourage you to find that space in your house and start your doodle. Till the next time. <laughs>